Hey everybody, welcome to What the Flick. I'm Matt, that's Alonzo, that's Christy. Uh, we're gonna do our own little book club thing here. Uh, well, they're gonna do it, because I didn't see it. Uh, they saw it, they're gonna discuss it. But before they do, I'm gonna tell you that should you decide to go see this movie, uh, you could go to adamtickets.com and use the code WTF5 uh, when you check out, uh, is it WTF05? No, just five. No, it's WTF5, 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 five. the number. Uh, no zero. <laughs> on WTF5, your first five, on your, and you'll get $5 off your first purchase, uh, and they'll tell you whether or not that's a good idea for this particular movie. Who's going to tell us about what Alonzo this movie's about? Describe. Yes, okay, so uh, Jane Fonda, Diane Keaton, Candace Bergen, and Mary Steenburgen are four friends. They've been friends for decades, as we know from a terribly photoshopped picture of the four <laughs> of them together in the early 70s, clutching their copies of uh, Fear of Flying. Um, they've been a book club. They have been supportive of each other, and uh, now they are women of a certain age, and years late, they decide they're gonna read uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, and it kicks off an erotic journey of discovery for all of them. <laughs> Hi, beautiful friends. I would like to introduce you to Christian Grey. Oh, no. From what I hear, this book is quite stimulating. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, wow. Have you ever been spanked? What? This book has got me in a total tizzy. Give me the zip ties. Are you thinking about tying me up? What? Nothing is just... It's a first date. So put on something sexy. Just be comfortable. That's too comfortable. Right. Yeah. They read the whole trilogy, actually. They do. Because once you read the first, you're like, what's going to happen to oh, Anastasia? God. And then once you read the second, you're like, oh, I got to read I got to, yeah. It, it, it's like Paula Poundstone talking about Pop Tarts, you know. You, you might have got to finish the box. So this is essentially um, Sex and the City, but like a generation later. Like each of them corresponds to a Sex and the City yes, character very totally. neatly. Jane Fonda is the oversexed, is the leopard Samantha. print wearing, double entendre spewing Samantha. And Mary Steenburgen is like, Prim and she does charity work, yeah. and so she's the Charlotte. And then Candace Bergen is a judge. Like yeah, she's and like she's what, in the legal profession, she's so like she's the total Miranda, Miranda. Miranda would be that person in 20 and years. And Diane Keaton she, narrates, so that makes her Carrie. the Carrie. She's easily our Carrie, and, 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 uh, and she's the one who actually does date. She takes a chance on meeting guys yeah. dating. And uh, you know, these people are such pros, mm. and they have they all have such well-honed comic timing after all the, these years that you know they make the stuff sing way more than it has an, a, any right to, but a lot of it is super lame and <laughs> super punchy, and you've got like the jaunty score that chimes in every two seconds to remind you to laugh. So speaking of drinking. <laughs> okay, so at our screening, they gave us little vouchers that said free beer slash wine. Yes. And oh, did the people in our screening partake. Oh yeah. I did not, I abstained, I had tea. I had, However, I had a white wine because I thought it would be sort of, it would, feel, it would feel interactive. Ew. It did not help, however. I was still not amused by this movie at all. And I love all four of these actresses, and I'm thrilled that they're getting work. I want them to be in, in movies where they get to be at the top of the call sheet. And the the material is so bad. It's a first time filmmaker. Bill Holderman. Yeah, he wrote the script with Aaron Sims. He okay. produced like all of the really crappy Robert Redford movies of late, like Lions for Lambs oh. and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, clearly, some favors were called in <laughs> uh, to it's get an amazing cast. to get these women on this terrible script. And it's like it it. I mean, yes, you want to see them, and you you are you go in rooting for them and rooting for like this movie to carry them through, and they are they are giving it their all. Yeah. It's it, but it's so just hacky. It's, forced, it's, it's yeah. sad that there's such a paucity of good scripts for women after a certain age that oh, they have I know. to settle for this. No, I know. It's like it's, it's how you feel when you see like Alfre Woodard in a Tyler Perry movie, <laughs> you know, or Jessica Lange having to work for Ryan Murphy. It's like, oh, you should be getting better than this. I would say though that the, when the four of them are together, and it's just the four of them, and they're drinking their wine, and they're talking about their lives. Yeah. Like, those moments have a nice energy to them. I wish there were more of them. them. <laughs> it's when they they then pair off with these various men or don't pair off with any men and they try to expand that world that it loses a lot of its so There are there are glimmers of the movie that this could have been. Like, I mean, yeah, all the scenes of the four of them together are really fun. I liked uh, Candace Bergen's date with Richard Dreyfuss. That was funny, yeah. That was kind of funny. <laughs> and like Diane Keaton and uh, Andy, Andy Garcia, Garcia have a lovely chemistry even though their scenes together are kind of ridiculous in a lot of ways and, and I didn't buy a lot of this stuff. I, again, this is just, it's the kind of movie where you are like, you just start seeing in your head the film that you wish it could have been because of all the ingredients that, that it brings to the table. But I just, it's, 
I, I want her to be having as much fun as the lady behind me. What was she doing? She was howling, laughing at, at my, I'm not Christy Lemire, Chiron people. Oh, um, but you play me on TV. Yes, it, it's a, the, 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 the likeness is uncanny. Yeah. It's like we're separated at birth. Uh, <laughs> The, you know, like every stupid line she thought was hilarious, every dumb little plot contrivance, she was like, oh, you know, I mean, uh, like, have you ever seen a movie before, but lady? You know but you know, there were a lot of people who were like woohooing at the Paramount logo. That's true. Yeah, so this I was an easy like audience. And maybe some of them planned, had multiple tickets. Planted, <laughs> planted audience. Yeah, the stuff with Andy Garcia, they have a real, he's just like sexy and charming and they have a nice chemistry. Um, the green screen on some oh, of their adventures God. is kind of hilarious. And, and on the rooftop scenes with Jane Fonda and Don Johnson also. That makes like, no sense. So you yeah, talk about the scenes of them sitting together, drinking and Talking to have each it other. being the book club, yeah. and it makes me think of you know I, again I say this having not seen the movie, but the late great Gene Siskel would have this test for yeah. a movie. Oh so yes, is this movie <laughs> more interesting than just these actors sitting around having lunch? Having yeah. lunch? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I, guess in this case, I, no, I, I, I thought lunch. of that very thing, and and I like I, I'm really enjoying Grace and Frankie. I mean, like Jason Jane Fonda is still getting good work mm -hmm. from Netflix and is really funny in it, and and I thought she was good in. Uh, our souls at night, you know. Yes. Uh, I, and I mean, Diane Keaton, bless her heart. I she's always Diane lo Keaton. Love her, but boy, she's been doing some really crappy movies for the last fifteen years. She's or just so. she's always a Diane Keaton figure, and here she literally plays a character named Diane. True. Her, <laughs> <laughs> they don't even bother no to like. Yeah. What's your name again? Diane. Oh, let's just keep Diane. <laughs> um, oh, can you bring your own of, wardrobe too? Yes. Yeah, it, but it, she it totally much, does. It is. Um, and then her daughters are played by Katie Azelton and Lisa Silverstone. Yeah. Who get nothing to do. And they're like it's like a one note thing. They are the 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 overprotective daughters Concerned. and they think that she's like an invalid and she's not. And she's they want out. to pack her into the basement it's, so she'll be fine. It's like a stupid one joke that they keep hammering yeah. throughout the whole thing. So yeah, there are, it has its moments. And we talk a lot about, you know, take your mom movies here. I guess this is a take your mom movie. There is, it's a positive celebration of female friendship that sure. we don't often see. And again, they're all lovely. So Whatever, I'm Whatever, take your mom to uh, Life of the Party. That that's mm. a possibility too. I, I would take, take your mom to tell her. I was gonna say, tell and her. then apologize for everything you did to her. Take uh, your mom to the escape. Okay. There, yeah, or um, that one. <laughs> I'm saying four. My numbers are four. Uh, I give it a what? Four and a half. Yeah, yeah exactly. four and a half. I get. <laughs> I give it a zero. All right. So oh, four point three is our number. It's at sixty five percent on the tomato meter. I suspect a lot of that is like. Two and a half star reviews because yeah, the actresses just are so feeling lovely. Kind. Yeah, so. let really give these women better work, please. Yeah, and, and use your TYT app. Your your not your um your what the flick right. uh, discount. Yeah, WTF five. If ever there was an opportunity to use it. On Adam Adam Bye.